We begin with pinpoint weather team coverage of the New England tornadoes. This is an extraordinary amount of, uh, of destruction caused by these uh, tornadoes. But we consider it a blessing, frankly, that we haven't had uh, uh, more loss of life. Right now, this noontime, four people in Massachusetts are dead. Governor Deval Patrick has declared a state of emergency. And more than a dozen different communities sustained damage from those storms yesterday. They are the strongest that the state has seen in some 45 years. Today, officials and residents are surveying the damage, shaken and in shock. Roofs ripped off homes, churches, and schools. The storm arrived quickly, doing a lot of damage in a short period of time. Tens of thousands of people are still without power right now. The National Guard has also been called in to help with the cleanup and the recovery effort. Senator John Kerry says he's confident that federal disaster aid will be made available to those areas hardest hit. We do have in-depth coverage of the New England tornadoes this noontime. Pinpoint News Tracker taking you to Springfield, Massachusetts now. That's where Eyewitness News reporter Duarte Geraldino is now with the very latest developments. Danielle and Patrick, I'm in downtown Springfield that arguably has some of the strongest buildings in this city and some of them are actually crumbling and behind me you can see a huge tree that was toppled over. If this could happen in downtown, some of the smaller houses in the surrounding areas, they had no chance. A powerful tornado picked this home right off of its foundation and flipped it upside down. The home next door was ripped apart and flattened. Wednesday's tornadoes damaged 19 communities in western and central Massachusetts. Everything blew at you and the roof went off, everything went off. Schools are closed and residents are being told to stay off the roads as crews work to assess the damage and begin cleaning up. This morning, Sharon Jordan was outside using an axe to break up a tree that fell on her car. I was so surprised to even hear that tornadoes hit Springfield. The storm seemed to come out of nowhere. One tornado formed over the Connecticut River. It flipped a tractor trailer on a bridge during rush hour, then headed into downtown Springfield, leaving behind a path of destruction. I was yelling, you know, to him, just cover up, put your head, hands over your head, and just, you know, ride it out because there's nothing you can do. The wind was so strong, it was able to uproot this decades-old tree that was encased in concrete, opening up the sidewalk like a can opener. Tornadoes are rare in this part of the country. This was the strongest one to hit Massachusetts in 45 years. The governor has declared a state of emergency. The Basketball Hall of Fame is now being used as a staging area for emergency crews. We're going to rebuild and we're going to rebuild together because we're all in this together. Tens of thousands of people are without electricity and crews are working to get the power back on. And this city is densely populated with very narrow streets, which right now, many of them are blocked off by fallen trees and debris. And that's going to be the biggest difficulty with the cleanup. In Springfield, Duarte Geraldino, Eyewitness News.